Hey, it's Trillip TV, and today I'm going to tell you about GIMP. GIMP's basically the most popular and probably the most powerful free image editor in the entire world. When you want to compare it to other programs, it's basically all of the goodies you would find in programs like Adobe Photoshop and all the things made by people like Corel, but it's for free. So, I used to have it on my computer, and I had to, for whatever reason, reinstall Windows. And so, I thought, you know, I need it again, so why not go ahead and do a little introduction video while I'm installing it. So, to get it, I'm going to put in a, a download link in the description where you can get this set up and install it onto your computer. And once you get to this screen, I'm just going to go ahead and launch GIMP now. When GIMP is starting to load up, you should see a thing that looks like this. Basically, it's their own rendition of the startups that you see with popular programs like Adobe or Sony Vegas Pro and things like that, where they bring up their own dialog window that kind of has an image displaying what it is while it's loading up all the files. Okay, so at first, when it loads up, it doesn't look like very much. But in fact, it's probably like I've already said, the most powerful and in some opinions and aspects to the program more simple than programs like Photoshop. So let me just go ahead and bring up my toolbox and things and get them to where I can see stuff better. If I get that resized. This is the first time I'm opening it so I am having to do this resizing which Probably I'll only have to do this one time just because it's the first time I've opened this program on this computer. And so let's go ahead and start a new thing. We're gonna go to new. And now I'm just going to I'm just gonna roll with the defaults, why not? And so you can see behind all of the tools the canvas. And this is where we can do all of our artwork and start drawing. Now I'm not gonna get really fancy with it, but I am just gonna mess around for a second and then I'll go into some more things about this program. So let's just type in Tree Up TV. Why not? And we'll close that. Now, you, if you can't tell, it is a little funky in comparison to some programs I'm sure you're more familiar with. But that's because it's an open source free program that is available to the world for free. So. while since I've played with this program. Okay, so what I went ahead and did is just kind of threw out a quick little background something that just says True Help TV, and now I'm just going to show you using a couple brushes which you could do to add on to this. So what I went ahead and did is was go to a really good website, freebrushes.com, and I downloaded one of their free brush packs that are available for GIMP. And it was this one right here. Oh, no. My apologies, it was this one. And they have everything labeled out, Photoshop, GIMP, or PaintShop Pro. And don't hold me to this, but I'm pretty sure GIMP can can handle some Photoshop ones. I don't know. But um, here's another example of another site, nope.com. N-O-U-P-E. And I mean, they already, as you can see right here off of this title, 1000 plus free high resolution GIMP brushes and basically what these brushes entitle is there are large packs of template type brush stroke things that you can use to add on to your photographs and pictures and stuff to really add that extra pop or zing to whatever it is you're creating to make it look more professional so I went ahead and downloaded that one pack that you saw which is like a paint splatter whatever effect packed and let's just add in a couple splotches of whatever we want now the scale tool if you see the outline of my paint brush whatever thing when I change that it changes its size so there's that and if I scale it down let's go ahead and change the color changes to that. If 
if you ever want any tutorials or anything on how to actually start making really cool images and stuff through this program just drop a link into the description to let me know that you're interested in this and I'll see what I can do and try to help you out because I've been using this program a lot longer than I've been using uh, Photoshop and this one just makes so much more sense to me and as you can tell it quickly and very fast and effectively starts to make a very large difference in the appearances and outputs of the images you're creating that one might have been too big yeah you just scale it down what you'll find though is a lot of brushes are like built to be very big so that way you can make them fit whatever project thing you're working on because they don't want to make a brush too small and then it gets distorted when you enlarge it <sighs> let's pick a color and we'll just pick one more random thing but as you can see um, very very fast and it's a very effective program that you can see the potential results that you can create with this program and everything with it associated with it for the most part unless you find some very high-end professional website it's free so that's basically GIMP I hope that this quick little video really helps you out and you can better understand the potentials and benefits of having this program if you want it you can go to the GIMP website to download it which is GIMP org or you can Google GIMP and then you're going to want this website right here you have all of the things but what you're looking for is this download page or you can go ahead and click the download link on their website so this is Trill TV saying thanks for watching I hope that this video has proved beneficial for you and don't forget to check out the channel because it's my channel right or you can click on the little tab that you will find above my videos let me just show you what I mean if you see the little drop down arrow click on that and browse through my videos and see if there's anything that you like or appeals to your senses if there's any other videos you should ever want just simply write me a private message or drop it in a comment and I will get right on that so yeah and catch y'all later